Hey everybody, Ben here. I wanted to make a quick video about an email I received. This video is geared more towards new agents or people that are thinking about getting into the bail enforcement field and come to my channel while they're doing their research. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, please subscribe. And if you're a regular on my channel, hey, thanks for sticking around. So this email I got is about two agents in Arkansas that have been arrested and charged with false imprisonment for handcuffing a lady that they didn't have out on bond. Now the short story of it is, is this lady was at the house that they were at, they, and she was the ex-wife of the guy that they were looking for. Now the, the news article that I read didn't go into depth about the circumstances around it, but the point of this video is to tell you guys, look, we don't have arrest powers like the police do. We don't have uh, the authority to put somebody in handcuffs and detain them for our safety, all right? Now, different states have different laws as to what you can do as a citizen, but in I'm not aware of any states, and anybody can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm not aware of any states where bail bondsmen, bail enforcement agents, future recovery agents, bounty hunters, whatever title you want to go by, has any actual arrest authority outside of the person that they're looking for. So our authority is by virtue of contract. We use, uh, we use the tools that the police use in order to get the job done effectively. We use handcuffs for our safety because we are taking people to jail, but we don't have the authority to detain uh, people that aren't involved in the situation. Now, in Mississippi, we do have the ability, like if I go into a house and, you know, somebody, the, the wife or ex-wife is there and they're actively hiding the person and I can prove that well then I can go down to the police department and I can sign bail jumping uh, harboring a bail jumper charges Mississippi law allows for that but I cannot actually arrest the person and take them down to the jail you know arrest them is unlawful you know um, unlawful detention or they got charged with uh uh, false imprisonment. I don't know what the charge would be in Mississippi because I've never done it. But uh, take, once you take that next step and transport them somewhere, now you're talking about kidnapping. And that's, that's no bueno here. I, I'm not going to play that game. So I've heard of bounty hunters, bail enforcement agents that will handcuff somebody and tell them they're going to take them down to the jail or they're going to arrest them or press charges or do all sorts of things um, as a scare tactic, a technique in order to get information out of people. You know, everybody has their own theories and their own methods of how they do this job. I find that just being straightforward and, you know, being persistent and being professional is way more effective than all these scare tactics. You know, just tonight, my partner and I were on a guy's property. It was a big piece of property. It was like a big junkyard. And the guy that we we're looking for was supposed to be staying in a camper trailer way at the back of the property. We show up at three o'clock in the morning and we encounter this individual that isn't our guy but doesn't live at the property either. The house is all the way at the other end of the property. And he's trying to give us a story about how he was just there looking at the camper because he was thinking about buying it, right? So we had to go down a long driveway that was full of water because it rained here today. And, you know, we're splashing down the driveway, headlights coming through the woods. I mean, these guys probably saw us coming. And I think that the, the friend of our guy tried to keep us distracted while he dipped off into the woods and he was able to get off into the woods before we were able to get close enough to make contact which is fine we'll catch him another day but this guy that we were talking to he he was done prison time he was nervous he you know uh, another set of agents may have 
felt that putting him in handcuffs and using that as leverage to get the guy to come out of the woods may have been effective, but it also would have been illegal. That would have been, that would have been assault at the very least. You know, you physically do something to somebody that's assault. The guy had nothing to do with what we were doing. Yeah, he was lying his butt off. And I did tell him, you know, I tried to use, hey, if I find out he was here, I'm going to press charges on you for harboring. Okay. I used that. It didn't phase him. He's like, man, I swear he wasn't here. I'm just three o'clock in the morning, you know, hanging out by myself on the back of somebody's property. Okay. I'm like, look, dude, I think you're lying to me, but whatever. Here's my business card. If you run across him, tell him to call me. We'll help him out. And I went to the wood line. I looked around a little bit. You know, I wish I had one of those FLIR thermal imager cameras for my phone. I think that would have been effective in this particular scenario. But my partner and I are 99% sure our guy was in the wood line. But it still didn't give us the authority to put handcuffs on this guy that had nothing to do with the situation. So remember that when you're out in the field, guys. Be professional. Be courteous. You know, be persistent. And just do your job. Don't, don't be extra. There's no point in being extra. Our whole industry is under a microscope these days. You are just as likely to get put in handcuffs as the person that you're looking for these days. People are looking for a reason to persecute and prosecute bail bondsmen, bounty hunters, enforcement agents, people that do our job. This, this field has become high risk in two ways. One, we're chasing after criminals. Two, people view us as criminals. So be careful out there. Anyway, that's all for now. Ben the Bondsman signing out. Remember, bell bonding isn't what we do. It's who we are.